Hello there, my beautiful, lovely internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I got to say that. Uh, about a month, month and a half ago, I sort of disappeared off of most of the internet and here on YouTube, and there's a reason for that. And I'm making today's video to sort of explain that because I do not feel like the same person that I was a month ago, two months ago, and uh, literally nothing in my life looks even remotely the same. And I want to share this with you because I don't think I can come back to just making like fun content or whatever that might be because that's not, like that might be where I am in some moments, but I can't fake a smile for the camera right now. Um, I'm just gonna try to do this in one take. So I hope you'll excuse the uhs and the ums and perhaps the longer than would be normally acceptable on YouTube pauses. But I am deeply unwell. Um, in the past two months, my life doesn't, is unrecognizable, I think is the best word that I could use. Um, back in March, I made the decision to end my marriage with Brian. We are in the process of getting divorced. It's very amicable as much as these things can be. There's no reason anyone should be, you know, upset or direct any anger towards Brian at all. Um, this is just a, a decision that I had to make and one that is awful and breaks my heart and breaks his heart. And if you've ever gone through something like this, I think you know what I mean. Um, that alone is enough to turn life completely upside down. It is astounding to me the ways that ending a long-term relationship touches every single aspect of your life, um, socially, mentally, obviously, emotionally, financially. There's nothing in your life that really exists without the other person, or at least there wasn't for me. And uh, before I get to some of the other things that have occurred, I, I realize that I have spent my entire adult life basically with someone, with the same person, going through hard things. And now that I am doing life suddenly on my own, um, I don't know how to handle it. And I have a lot of shame in saying that because I'm like, Joe, you just turned 31. You should probably have your, uh, you should probably have your shit together. But I'm here to tell you that I certainly do not. Um, you guys might be familiar with my dogs from my channel. If you know me in real life, you know that my dogs are my life. Like I am a dog person to my very core. Um, and when I moved out, I brought Sadie, Sophie, and Sully with me, um, my three doggos. And uh, we adopted Sully about six months ago. When we got him, we knew he had a heart condition. Uh, the extent of that heart condition was not exactly clearly disclosed um, and basically he got sick pretty quickly, got very visibly unwell pretty quickly and I had to make the decision to put down my 10 month old puppy about three weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago, um, which was crushing. And up until that moment, uh, and like moving out, all of that, I was proud of myself that I was holding it together. I was like, man, this is hard, but I'm doing the things that I need to do. I am reaching out to my friends. I'm staying active. I'm eating. I'm, you know, whatever I need to, to do to like get through hard things in a good way. And I'm, I'm proud of myself for that. And when Sully died, that like set off this chain event of probably just honest emotion and reacting to everything that's going on and I fell the hell apart and started getting to a very unwell mental place. Um, and I put up a post on Instagram, I think a week ago today maybe, saying, you know, hey, this is what's been going on. It's just me and my shepherds now. And I posted a picture with Sadie right there and Sophie right here sitting right there. And um, I think it was the next day that I was playing tennis ball with my girls in the backyard. And um, Sophie and Sadie hit their heads together. They were both going for a tennis ball and it wasn't even that hard or at least it didn't look it. And Sadie 
went down and couldn't get back up. And I couldn't pick her up on my own because she was like 80 pounds. Um, thankfully, my neighbors were home and could help me and I got her in the car and brought her to the ER and then uh, a couple hours later she was gone. She had a, just it was just like a freak accident and a spinal injury. And Sadie was my everything dog. Um, I got her after trauma that I went through years ago when I was in a very dark place. And I swear to God, that dog was the only reason I survived. Um, she saved my life. I know people say that about dogs all the time, but like she really did. And she was like my heart dog. <laughs> um, and I spent the next 11 years of her life because that's how long I had her trying to thank her for everything she did for me. And so now I'm sitting here in this house that I have rented that is so quiet because <laughs> there's not panting and tons of paws and there's no one else here. It's just me and Sophie who is sad and confused because she's always had buddies. And me who is sad and confused. And I am absolutely falling apart. And I don't say that for a cause for concern or anything like that, but in my journey on the internet, it's always been very therapeutic for me to share with you where I honestly am as much as I can in any moment. And as I've done that, I've shared some heavy things before, you know, going through amputation, dealing with depression, dealing with suicidal thoughts, um, and being honest with that. But looking back, even as I did that, I still felt like I had some kind of handle on pieces of my life. Like even if it felt like it was a wreck, even if I felt completely broken and like everything was falling apart, there, I felt like there was always sort of a thread. And I feel like I have lost that thread. And that is one of the reasons why I haven't wanted to make videos because I feel lost. Um, and here's the thing, I feel like it's a curse of having gone through difficult things before in life. Um, I know that I have the ability to get through this. I know I have the capacity to, right? I know that I might not have all the resources right now, um, but I know that I can reach out. I know that I can grow and expand my coping and my processing skills. And like, I, I can find a way through this. I know that for a fact, I believe in my strength and in my perseverance. The problem is I just don't want to. I am so tired of being strong. I'm so tired on a core level of hard things. And I want to roll my eyes when I say that because I'm like, everyone is Joe, deal with it. But I am not well. Uh, I am in the moments when I'm thinking straight, very proud of the fact that there have been some moments in the past couple of weeks where I recognized I was uh, gonna be an active danger to myself if I stayed alone. And so in those moments, I have called people, I've gone and stayed with people. Um, I'm trying to do the things, like reach out to friends, go to therapy, stay in touch with people, and I'll continue doing those things. Um, I know that I will find my way through this, but I don't know how to want to right now. Please understand, I do have support. I am safe. I will be safe. I will be here. I just don't know what that's gonna look like because I feel like all of my wires have been ripped out. I feel like the core of who I am is sort of shattered at the moment. I don't want to deal with things well. I don't want to go through this in a healthy way. I feel like a teenager again in some ways where I just wanna, I just wanna throw a fit and break things and uh, deal with things in a horrible way. <laughs> um, the impact that this has all had on me, there's so much loss. I feel like I blinked 
and all of the things that I held dear were gone or very different. And I'm not coping well with that. Um, but I will continue to make the commitment to find my way through it. And I wanted to make this video and I appreciate you listening to this in one take because I'd much rather do this in a put together fashion when I've actually showered in the last couple of days and maybe have some makeup on and, and are making jokes about things and trying to keep things more light and fun. I appreciate you listening to me as I am because I believe in trying to be honest about where we are because I personally have found a lot of benefit in hearing from other people when they genuinely are not okay. Um, so I'm not gonna try to fake it because I don't have that in me right now. And I hope that, I hope you aren't, but I hope that if you are or ever have been in a similar place of feeling um, absolutely to your core wrecked, I hope you know you're not alone. Um, I know I'm not alone, though it is hard to remember that in some moments. And I'm gonna continue making videos here because I know that that is one thing that is good for me. It has always been a very beneficial thing to my mental health, and it's also my job now. Um, <laughs> but it's something I enjoy doing, and I may come back with fun, happy videos because it's a good distraction, and I may come back with more you know, serious videos talking about deeper emotions because I also enjoy doing that and think it's important to do. But I didn't want to just pop back on YouTube like everything was the same because I am not the same. Um, and I don't know how to be right now. And I feel like I could keep rambling and probably saying the same thing for a very long time, but I think that is the core of what I wanted to say. Um, one last thing, actually. Uh, a number of people have noticed my absence and reached out to me. And if you're one of those people, thank you. It is so sweet and so kind that you would notice I haven't been posting and that's weird and hey, are you okay? Um, and then when I kind of put the announcement up on Instagram about stuff that had been going on and the decisions that I made, uh, I was terrified to do that because I expect the internet to be the internet sometimes, but I find that I am consistently shocked by how kind you are. And people were absolutely amazing, amazing. Um, so thank you guys for that. And thank you, my lovely audience, for listening. Um, I don't know how to end this video other than ending it, so I'm going to go back to my, uh, the way that I've ended videos for like three years now and say, you could be anywhere else in the world doing anything else, but you chose to hang out with me here for a few minutes and listen to me speak. That means the world to me. Thank you. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.